So in this video, I want to introduce you to the inverse normal. And that's a slightly different problem. Um, so we're going to be working backwards. So if I gave you a normal distribution with a mean as 10 and a standard deviation of 0.5, and I said that for this normal distribution, 30% were less than a specific value a, and I wanted to figure out that value of a. So what does this look like on a diagram? So on the diagram, we would have a mean as 10, and I'm telling you that 30%, so this is 30%. 30% are less than a specific value a. So A would have to be less than 10, OK? And we need to find out that value of A. So the way that we do it is we use the inverse norm of 0 0.3. So this is often written as the inverse phi of 0 0.3. OK, so how can we work that out? Now, on our calculator, uh, you want to go to menu, then number 7, and then you want to go to number 3, inverse normal. Now the area is the 0 0.3. The area always refers to the left-hand area. So from the line that you're looking at and down. Okay, never that way, always to the left. Okay, so you've got to keep that in mind when you're solving these problems. And we'll see some examples of going the other way in the next video. So that would be 0 0.3. Now, the sigma, OK, if we were to just use the formula here for the time being, OK, sigma 1, mean of 0, then this is referring to the standard normal distribution, OK, where this is a z value. And this is the same error. That's 0 0.3. Okay. And what I get on my calculator is this minus 0 0.5244. So that is your z value. Which is equal to, using the formula, z equals x minus mu over sigma. The x value that we're looking for, the a, take away the mean, which is 10, and divided by sigma, which is 0.5. So this gives you an equation that you can solve to find a. OK? So when we do that, if we solve that, so minus 0.5244 times by 0.5 plus 10, and we get a value for a as 9.7378. So as we anticipated, it was to the left of 10, OK, using that formula. Now, your calculator is actually able to work this out straight off the bat, OK? So when you went into menu and then number 7, and you went to inverse normal, you had the options of not just typing in the area of 0 0.3, but also the sigma, 0 0.5, and the mean is 10. And that gives you directly 9.7378. OK? So you can use your calculator to work backwards to get those values as well as and when you are required. OK? So we can get directly 9.7378 to four decimal places. OK? So this is how the formula can be utilised to bring back in. But as I said, right, the uh, exam is going to want you to get used to using your calculator to perform the majority of these calculations. Um, we're going to be seeing a simultaneous equations problem uh, very soon where we're going to have to use uh, the formula in order to solve that problem, OK, uh, to find the mean and standard deviation. So. Um, in the next video, I'll go through some more examples of this so you can just see it straight on your calculator. How do we solve areas that are to the left, uh, to the left and to the right?